Hey, what's up? My name is Kareem and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your RC505 loop station to the new macOS Big Sur update. It's taken me a while but I figured it out, so let's start the video and hopefully this is helpful. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is power up your loop station. And once it's powered up, you're going to press the bottom system and you're going to press it four times. Okay, so now it's done. Press it four times. One, two, three, four. Then you see system, USB mode, audio MIDI. This is the right mode, but most of the time, once you uh, first uh, start it, it will be in storage mode. So you have to turn the knob into audio MIDI. Then press the button on the right. And this has to say line out. Usually it will be in the loop in mix. So make sure to turn it to line out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, then press exit and press right. And once again, so it will be saved. Now, once that is done, uh, all you will need is a USB cable, like a, a USB cable on one end. Oh, sorry. And a printer cable at the other end. It's a bit difficult to get it in focus. Yeah, I got it in focus. So a USB cable with a printer. Um, I don't know what it's called. Printer uh, connection on the other end. Okay. And you get your macOS Big Sur update. Now let's head over to the computer and show you guys what to do next. So go to your browser and type in boss.info. And once you're on the website, click on support. Then go to updates and drivers and then scroll all the way down up oh, sorry you need to click the NNS and then scroll all the way down to see RC505 loop station click on that uh, make sure your loop station is updated to the newest version but it probably is if you bought it recently if not you need to update this first and then download the driver so you're going to search for this one the latest driver it's not mac os big sur because that's not out yet so click on this one then agree and download file then you're going to open the file click it and you're going to click this twice now, probably um, this won't open uh, if you're using the newest version on the Mac because uh, it's more safety, uh, what's it called? Like it's, it's more secure. So first you will need to allow it to open. So you need to go to settings and then to the security and then click this lock button type in your password and now in my case I already uh, done this but then usually it will say the name of the file you just downloaded right here and then click the lock button again and then you should be able to open this and then you're going to go ahead install and after you install, I can show you, but I can't show you the whole process uh, because the computer needs to restart at the end and I'm recording this on my screen. So, but uh, okay, I'll show you the first part. So you're going to type in your password. Now, like I said, I already installed it, so I don't need to do it again, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to install it once again. 
okay so need to be patient a little bit and it's a difficult process on uh, the new Mac OS Big Sur I don't know why but uh, that's why I'm helping you out with this video hopefully so now it says restart but I'm not going to do that because I need to show you how it works but you're going to click the restart button and make sure before you do that that your loop station is connected to the computer uh, with the USB cable so turn the loop station on or if you already have it on keep it on just plug in the cable in one end of the loop station and the other end into the computer and then once you've done that click restart okay so now we're going to pretend like we restarted the computer and now once you restarted the computer you're going to go to system preferences once again again to the to the what's it called the security and the privacy again click on the lock and type in your password now this time you need to click on details and here it, it will say uh, like Roland corporate or Roland corporate something like that uh, and that's uh, the company of the boss loop station so you need to select it so in my case because I didn't restart the computer it won't show up but in your case it will be uh, right here so you're just going to click it not this one of course <laughs> the, the Roland one and uh, then click OK so let's pretend that is here I clicked it and then click OK then click the lock button once again okay that's done uh, once that's done um, you need to restart your computer once again because the driver uh, now has permission to uh, be opened or yeah opened started up uh, once the computer is uh, rebooted so just keep the cable connected to the loop station and keep it on and restart your computer once again okay now let's pretend it's restarted once again now what you're going to do is go to system preferences and to your sound and then once you connect it it will show up like this so I didn't connect my loop station yet so let's connect it so I can show you how it works okay so okay so now I connected it and you see this one changed but in your case it will be on the internal uh, speakers so you go into the first tab and change this to the RC505 then you're going to this one also select the RC55 and then uh, the input also to the RC505 so the input the output and the sound effects all on the RC505 okay once you've done that exit this then open the audio MIDI it probably won't be here in your uh, uh, in your bar right here uh, down below so what you're going to do is you're going to your apps and then to your other apps right here and then it should be here and then open it and the first time you open it this won't show up but because I already did mine it will so what you need to do is you're going to see this this is your only screen you're going to the preferences right here and then uh, also check this MIDI studio so you need to check this like it's here and then uh, stop the program and then once it stopped it started once again and now this new window should pop up right here and it should say the RC505 and maybe this one I don't know for sure in my computer this was the only thing that showed up first and this one won't show up yet so you will only see these two 
if you don't see your RC505 right here, then what you need to do is click this, this button right here, and it's uh, scan MIDI bus. And once you click that, it will refresh and it should show up right here. Okay, so now it showed up right here. What you're going to do is select this one, hit the plus, and now make an, a new name for this uh, new machine you added. So click it twice and then you can add the name RC505. So in my case, I've already done it. Um, so once you change the name to something, hit this uh, button right here. So I'm going to delete this because I've already done it. So let's delete this one, but in, uh, you will do it and then this one will show up right here. So you have done it, the RC505. Now what you need to do is click this little arrow right here and with your mouse drag a little like a line into the other arrow. This is like your cable, like the input and the output. So then hit the other one and drag it right here. Okay, so now once you drag that, it's connected. So then you can close this and um, select this one. Also close this and it should finally work. It should, uh, <laughs> should be done. Let's test it out. Okay, so I don't know if it worked because I can't do a sound check yet, but uh, this is how to connect your RC505 loop station to your computer. It's a bit difficult, I don't know why it's so complicated on the new version of uh, macOS Big Sur, but uh, this is how to do it. I wish you uh, good luck with uh, yeah, uh, executing this and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments down below and uh, you can also re-watch the video of course and uh, pause it when you need to so hopefully this is helpful please make sure to like the video if this was helpful and also subscribe to my channel and uh, you can subscribe right here and make sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload other videos and uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.